Ooh, yo, we live, man. 15 minutes of fame. I'm here in Toronto, Canada. It's the king of the dots. King of the dots, boy. Rex, what's up, man? Yo, yo, first and foremost, man, I'm here to tell you, yo, this motherfucking battle, man, you back on your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? No bit, no bullshit. You came with it, man. Like, you know, first time in Canada, man. How was it for you? Um, it was something different, man. I mean, Canada crowd show mad love. They ain't biased, they ain't hate. So, you know what I mean? It was a great experience for me over here. You know what I'm saying? And, um, kind of had somebody I looked at, watched, I like. I was happy to get in there with the nigga and I'm saying it's going to go for so that's what it's about. It's about competition. It ain't about killing the nigga all the time. Killing is my own career. So I just want to get in there and show people what I still be doing. Where, where, um, you know, since, since the Clips battle, this was your first joint. You know what I mean? Um, any type of, uh, you, you know, like preparation, like was was it, he dead from the door because of that man? Did he get it worse? I mean, I, I could feel it dead. I could feel it dead, but it ain't, it ain't up to me. It's up to the people. But um, it wasn't no, it wasn't nothing special because of that. Because Clips would have got something else if I would have would have been myself that day. I don't make excuses. Shit happened. I dropped the ball. I'm saying he got the W. From, from this point on, you'll see the same place. I went 15 years without ever looking bad. And sometimes you gonna have a bad day, man. That shit just happened. It's life. You know what I'm saying? I give him, I give him the W. He got that. That's that. No, I ain't mad at him. No, only nigga from Harlem could beat me. That's all I said. Now, you know what I'm saying, where do we go from here? I mean, um, you know, I, you, took a, you took a little break, man, since, you know, you ain't taking no battles since, since Summer Madness, you know what I mean? Like, where are we going from here? because I was trying, I did 10 battles last year. What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to take another battle after that big thirsty to this? I was killing niggas all year. I, I forgot about Total Slaughter, I forgot what I did. Like, I mean, I, don't, I, I didn't let that ball you know what I'm saying? Not, you can't let one bad game affect your, your season, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So, and, and do the fans, do, 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 do you blame the fans though, like, for like acting like that? Like, nah, you know, it's supposed to, man. Like, I mean, I expect more from me. So, I expect for the fans to be upset at me not being me. You know what I'm saying? I expect them to be mad at me not being great. Anything under that, I'm not going to be the person that they want to see. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it kind of hurt. It hurt a lot of them, and I apologize to anybody I let down, or anybody that lost any money on me. Because I know niggas that gamble on me anytime. They don't care who the car. Rex ain't betting with me. So, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, double up on the next ones. Anytime you get anything from now, we're going to make it happen. And you know, for all the Toronto fans watching, is this the last time you're going to be, be on King of the Dot? Nah, hopefully King of the Dot calling the nigga back, man. You know what I'm saying? I think I put a good, good enough performance to perform and call me back. That's what's up, man. You know you family, man. I fuck with you all day, man. Shout to the Dot Mom. Shout to that 15 Minutes of Fame out, man. No, you know Dot Mom. Peace. 15 Minutes of Fame.